Hey guys, it's me Luke with yet another video, and this time it's a ah uh, I'm uh, suggesting. All right, anyway, this is a computer that is gonna be a shout out to Eric Brewhammer, I think. Um, he's a really good computer guy. He's actually gonna give me a computer I have wanted for a really really long time, and this is a computer that he also has that I also have also. This is a, if you can't already tell by the monitor, Claire, shut up! Shh! Let's hope that shush there. No. Anyway, this is a gate. Hold on, not my ADD's kicking in. Let me turn on the light. Alright, that's better. Anyway, this is a gateway E1400 from June of 2000. This was given to me in June of 2014, and it was given to me by a family friend who said uh, that he doesn't use it anymore, and that he wanted me to have it, and he found it in his basement. And I was really appreciated by that, because I hadn't gotten a computer before that since, like, a, a lot while before that. It was, like, August. And... Um, and I really, this is a, com the computer that, like, Eric Guy is given to me is a Gateway Essential 4433C from 1999, and I really appreciate it, Eric. I have wanted one of those for a long time, and it's finally coming true. <laughs> and these are actually some of the peripherals that actually came with it, well, uh, let me explain a little bit about that gateway, the backstory. My grandparents used to have a gateway essential exactly like he says. It it came with everything, the speakerphone, Cambridge Soundworks, speakers, which I actually still have and I might even ask if I can have them. Um, gateway mouse pad, uh, gateway pretty much everything. I still have the keyboard and mouse that came from that gateway. and. It's a really, really cool computer I've always wanted, and the only thing is with their gateway, it, their power buttons were very prone to falling off, from what I've heard, and theirs was no exception, so one day it, one, it fell off, and they had to turn it on by using a screwdriver, and they used that one from 1999 to 2000, late 2004, so I know I used it at one point, and it... And from what the description my grandma told me, all that, and how my own memories. This was the monitor that came with it. It's a Gateway EV700 from late 1998, but it's the closest I could find. And it was the model that did come with it. And Gateway speak, uh, the Gateway Essential Keyboard has a CD, DVD controls, volume, help spot, internet, and sleep button. And, uh... This computer, when I first got it, had a corrupted install, I think, of Windows 2000 Professional, and did not boot up, blue screen of death, and since I'm almost sure that was not the OEM gateway, well, it might have been, but it wouldn't work at all, so I just decided, well, screw it, and I decided to reload it, which I, it now has a fresh install of Windows 2000 Professional on it. And it has all the original peripherals, the laptop-like CD-ROM, the floppy drive, and the Quantum Fireball 13 gigabyte hard drive. And and although Gateway is known for being an unreliable, unreliable brand, because of my experience with them at school and at my grandparents and even at home, I think I had essential at one point. They're, they sort of have a soft spot for me. I even have a soft spot for the Celeron, and that is saying something. And, um, anyway, this computer, the gateway thing is a little faded, but the logo is still theirs. And it did come with a couple scratches when I first got it, but I actually cleaned them off. And, um, this monitor is an EV700. I picked this up in August, and... It's going to look awesome once I have that essential with the speak original speakers, the keyboard, the mouse. Well, I have to find a mouse, but that'll be easy. And 
it'll it'll look awesome. I'm really glad I'm finally getting one. And thanks, Eric. Uh, I know I'm saying thanks so much, but thank you a lot. And and I, I know you're really busy. And thanks for taking the time. Anyway, without further ado, let's fire it up. So let's it's let's go into setup. It's an Intel Pentium 3 running at 650 megahertz, 128 megs of RAM. Right now it's date. I f time and date is exact. So uh, all the stuff you get the picture. So let's see the gateway logo. And I have this connected to the internet, so we might see some stuff. Gateway. Beep. And it's gonna do a beep. At least I think so. Starting Windows 2000. Windows 2000 Professional. That hard drive is really clunky. Loading up Windows 2000. I have it set to 800 by 600 resolution, of course. Windows is starting up. Still loading up all the stuff, so let me load it up. Still loading, but what do you expect? It's Windows 2000. I want to keep it the same. Why is it always? I'm going to change the properties once I get to that. Oh, I guess it's done loading. So, let's just see what it has on here. Uh, the usual Windows 2000 stuff. Let's just see. First off, like I do with all my computers, let's just see how good the sound is actually on here. See, it has a 13 point. It's a four, oh, it has a 14 gigabyte hard drive. So... This has a Ah, <laughs> uh, you get the picture. So, let's uh, take a, I think this computer was actually used at a company my dad used to work for, so let's go to properties. Luke Patrick Junker, Junker and Sons PC Repair. 
I added that. Red manufactured and supported by Gateway. Gateway Incorporated E1400, 128 megs of RAM, and you get all the stuff. I have all the stuff installed, so everything's good. So I am going to go on Internet Explorer. It's loaded to google.com since it's less, uh, what, what do you call it? Anyway, let me go to something that will show just what using this computer would be like back in the day. Yes. Oh, and I love this thing. Oh, I cannot load it since it's, well, let me try it again and you'll see what I'm talking about. I love that thing. I get to stare at it for hours. I just love that thingy. So, I'm gonna go to Mozilla Firefox since I installed it on here. Though it's kinda slow. I might think of upgrading the RAM, but since this is a secondary machine, there just in case I need it. Not really going to think about that. And it's trying to restore my session. And I don't want it to restore my session. So let me uh, go to 